Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, okay, we're just gonna adjust some shit real fast. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, why is this thread not there? We go. Loosen up a little more, you bitch. Tell about the threading here. That's not bad. Part of my mess. No more. Da, 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 da. I'm sure that's riveting to watch. There we go. A. So as you can see, we have um, did a little work behind the scenes while we weren't while we weren't filming. I know that that probably sucks if you guys were following along, but I highly doubt anybody was following along because no one's watching. Anyway, let's get to this. I think right now what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, start doing the background to this. And in my the previous stream, I had mentioned something. Hold on, let me go get it real quick. Just 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 a second. I should always come prepared for my stuff, huh? Okay, well, in the previous stream, I had mentioned that I had been working on another painting just recently in the same theme, and I figured I would go ahead and show it. Um, move that bitch out of the way. Here's the one that we just recently finished up. It's a uh, cross of Skeletor and Venom. I'm calling it Venator. And it is, the thing I wanted to point out is if you look, the background to it is based off of the uh, packaging for the Masters of the Universe toy toy line. It's based off that packaging. So with that in mind, what I'm going to do... Oh, oh, and there's going to be prints of these made pretty soon. So I just need to take them down to the print shop, and they'll be on our Etsy page, uh, etsy.com slash shop slash candy dandy art. But... Uh, Back to this piece, we're going to, instead of doing the Masters of the Universe packaging, we're going to go for the uh, Princess of Power toy packaging, which is this blue background with a purplish pink aura radiating, at, really like sunbeams radiating off of it, part of my, my sleeve there. So that's what we're going to do, is we're going to go ahead and line up that stuff, and uh, we'll try to get that done for this stream, and then we'll take it easy after that. Just kind of a chill little wind down stream. Uh, you know, just like last time, I know nobody's watching right now, but I figured it would be nice to talk while I work. I'm just using a pencil, the BIC model. You know, I've got fancier pencils. I've got a really nice one from Japan, but for some reason, I think it's because I just grew up with using these Bic pencils. These are like my go-to mechanical pencils. They have such a soft lead, but it's, you know, it's not like soft as far as visibility, but it's so smooth compared to like other graphite pencils. I, I don't know how to explain that. Also, the erasers to these things are so fucking great. Every other one, it's like tiny little itty bitty fucking erasers and they just pop off or disintegrate the second that you get like a hard pencil line in there. But oh man, these big pencil erasers, psh, bitch, you have no idea. Or maybe you do, maybe you do. We're gonna pause for the cause of the vape real quick. Okay, and we are back. Just needed to hit my vapor pen real quick. All right. So then, that's one thing I was glad that I managed to do right in the last stream was actually mute when I needed to mute and not mute when I didn't want to. Now, there's two different types of packaging when it comes to the Princess of Power line. And I was looking this up, that's why I know. Because um, I never actually had any of the Princess of Power toys when I was a kid. My dad wouldn't let me. We're not going to get into that. Um, there's two different types of the aura 
on the Princess of Power packaging. Uh, there's one where it's just half the field is the aura, and that's what we're doing. But that one also has like a giant picture of uh, Shira on Swiftwind flying across. So we're not going to add that in there, obviously. The other one is where it's just straight up all the way around. And, uh, that one's okay, but I think the other one pops better. And it gives it a similar vibe to like, you know, the, the exploding like red rocks. I know they're not in scale with each other, but like it, it gives the same type of vibe, you know, that dynamic. So that's what we're doing. All right. So these are going to be our pink bars. The rest is going to be blue. And I'm going to start. Where did I put my drink cup? I should probably see where that went. We're going to start with some uh, bright blue. And throw it in our paint glass. Give me just a second. I'm going to look for my cup real quick because I am getting kind of perched. There it is. Okay, yeah, we're good. It's very important that whenever you're in front of a light that you need to stay hydrated. Oh, yes. What what other cup do you expect a drag queen to have? <laughs> and I haven't done that in a while, but I do need to get back to it. I mean, I've really done a show or a gig. I mostly just do it on film, but... Well, I'm in my videos. Well, the old videos that aren't around anymore, unfortunately. Uh, but... We'll get back to doing that, too. I just need to get some stuff first. I really don't like having my paintbrush cup that close to all my electronic shit. Okay, then. We're going to use... Hmm. It's not a bad brush. I'm cleaning my brush real quick. Okay, we're gonna use our big boy here. Whoa, we're just gonna blue the background a little. This is gonna be our base for that, by the way. And we went over base coats the other the other stream thing. I do quite enjoy doing these things. So yeah, if you hear intermittent music, it's because our neighbors like to play it really loud. I'm trying to keep my voice down, but unfortunately, I have a bit of a vibrato to it. It's a little late. It's not too late, but it's a little late. Such is life, no? All right. Again, I know that you probably can't see shit because I'm left-handed. I tried to find a good angle over my right shoulder, but I just couldn't find one. Pardon. And we don't want to go all the way to the body. We don't want to connect the background yet. The reason why that is is because we want to leave some leeway in there so that we can whittle down the edges. And we'll go back over that with some light blue, uh, either the same color with a liner brush instead of this big boy. Ooh, ooh. Or uh, we'll do watercolor and let it diffuse. Because I do like to add watercolor to this uh, since Bristol Board is such a such a great fucking thing to paint on. Yeah, that, that was uh, one of my infamous not good with words moments there. I have a lot of those. Dun, 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 dun. I'm not sure if you can hear it in the background, but I put it on Tubi and I just got like the He-Man Shira holiday special playing. Uh, it felt kind of appropriate for background noise. If I'm not mistaken, I want to say that's the episode or the, the mini series little special event that actually introduced Shira. But I'm not for sure, and I don't want to be a Motu POP expert, you know. I do like the brand, I do like the franchises, but I don't know all of the lore, and I'll freely admit that there's always something new to learn. It's a fun franchise though, isn't it? It really it's a just a fun little Barbarian fantasy slash sci-fi 
It's very goofy, very campy. It's a fun thing to fun thing to watch. Ah. Though I will say, I think the Netflix uh, Shira was much more fun to watch than the original was. I know that might sound blasphemous to people over their age of forty, but I quite enjoyed it. I think they did more with the character in that than they did in Shira. I freely admit that. Um, pause for the cause real quick. And just fade real fast. Okay, let's get back to it. It's one of those things I don't know if people know that but it's actually very helpful for you to be able to move the uh, surface of what you're working on. Uh, not I know a lot of people that do digital do that all the time. It's like super easy to remember. But like when you're working on physical medium, being able to look at it from different angles actually helps and makes it a lot easier to just like you know, get to tough to reach spots. So if you're new to painting, don't be scared to move the canvas around or the Bristol board around or your notebook around. You know, just a good I good a good little bit of uh, advice there. Sorry if I'm sounding a little ASMR yet. Like I said a second ago, I'm trying to keep it down because we have neighbors and I don't want to be rude. And take a sip of my water real fast. Hold on. And again, I know there's nobody actually watching right now, but this is just for like if somebody watches it later. Okay. Oh, I got a little bit of glitter on my thing. Yeah, that is a that is a thing. If you do drag, even if it's just around the house, or you do art, you end up with a bunch of stuff all over the place. And I do a lot of that. And um, I've got glitter literally everywhere. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know if I really want to explain it because glitter is just fucking awesome. But, yeah, just everywhere. I'll, I will find glitter in places that I didn't even know glitter existed in the house or how the hell glitter even got there. It just happens. Glitter just happens. Remember that. <sighs> man, oh man. There's a lot of Motu stuff these days, isn't there? There's like, yeah, that fucking Kevin Smith show, which I, I enjoyed. I thought it was good. I thought that controversy about it was dumb as shit. Um, yeah, that Netflix CGI show, which, you know, first season I was kind of eh. Because it felt like it was just doing the same story that Revelations was doing, but I've, it's it's grown on me and I, I quite enjoy it. It's it's a fun show. I canceled Netflix a while ago though, so I'm not really watching either of them. But then they got those fucking toy lines out. They got like three right now, plus the sideline stuff. A lot of Motu shit. It's wild. I've mostly been covering the like following the origin stuff because it's similar in design to the original toy line, which I, I like the aesthetic of, but it has improved articulation. So they're great for posing and making displays with. I'm kind of getting tired of it, though, to be honest with you. I mean, you know, it's only so much you can collect before you're like, okay, why am I still collecting this right now? I mean, don't get me wrong, I had a lot of attachment to Motu when I was a kid. But, you know, I'm not like 100% diehard Motu 
not knocking people who are. Everybody has their hobbies and interests. But, you know, it's just the point where you're like, okay, I'm good with what I've got, and I don't really need to keep following the line. It's been wild watching it, though, man. Like, when it first came out, it was just a Walmart exclusive. And then the fucking pandemic happened at the same time. So shipping became a pain in the ass. A lot of waves got lost. Then it switched over to um, all the stores. And Target picks up one wave. Walmart picks up the other. And they started doing exclusives. And slowly but surely, the pegs went from a whole aisle at Walmart when it first started to um, now it's like maybe one or two pegs off in the background by the wrestling figures towards the back. It's hard to find them. So I'm saying in stores out here, people just stopped ordering them. That's mainly because for like for a while there, the only figures you could find on the store shelves was just rows and rows of basic Skeletor and He-Man. No other figures. It's like they decided to just buy a buttload of just those two guys. It's so ridiculous. Yeah. And then at one point they did a lane, they did like a line change and uh, updated both of the figures' heads, if I'm not mistaken. But at that point, who who really cares? You already have them. You're like three or four waves in. Yeah, it's been pretty neat. I like that they're finally including Sun Man into the line. I think that's really dope. That was a fun little thing that happened there. I mean, not fun, but you know, it's cool that they're doing that representation, that they're acknowledging Sun Man, which is very cool. Uh, kind of wish that they would do a little more Princess of Power, though, in the line. Because so far, they've only done one She-Ra character outside of the Horde. And it's like, come on, man, you got like a whole bunch in the, Revel in, in the Masterverse line. You can't do a few more Princess of Powers? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And that's just like a typical toy collector to complain about the toys that they wish they saw in the, in, the, in the thing. And there's a couple I still wouldn't mind picking up, but yeah, I'm pretty much done with the line. Not knocking it. Keep going, but like, you know. It's always good to do more than one layer of paint so that it comes out a little more evenly. First layer is always going to be kind of streaky and smeary. Sure, if you're big into AC ASMR, that probably sounded really fun. <sighs> hmm. Not bad, not bad. What do you guys think? I agree. I'm gonna pause for the cause real quick, vape time. And we're back on. All right. Hmm. Yeah, when you start working on the background, the paper gets a little wonky because of, you know, you're covering it all in paint now. I'm actually really surprised with the amount of paint <laughs> that this fucking Bristol board can take. Like, there is layers of it on that Skeletor piece. I was, I was surprised that it wasn't falling apart. But yeah, this stuff is just durable fucking paper. I get why it's expensive. <laughs> I remember working at a comic shop once, and uh, it's one of the ones that frequently got artists and stuff that would come in because it was the shop for a while there. And uh, I was talking to a guy that did comic book art, and he was like, he doesn't even use Bristol board. He just like cuts up poster boards, which is roughly the same thing, but it's not the same thing. I'm sorry, I know he said it was, but it is not the same thing. It's, there's a totally different feel to it from poster board. Might as well be drawing on a napkin. I, I mean that jokingly, but 
there's a total difference between poster board and Bristol board. Not saying that you can't get a lot of paint on a poster board too. You can, but there is definitely a difference. It's hard for me to explain. It's a je ne sais quoi type thing, but uh, yeah, it, there is a difference. I'm sure if you're a native French speaker, that probably sounded very insulting. My apologies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All righty. Yeah, the song stuck in my head now. Doege uh, Sam Bernulfile. It's a nice song. I probably butchered the French language there twice now in this stream. I was trying to not be problematic. Working on it. I do have my goof ups. I think we all do at some point in time. Well, that's minimizing, but you know what I mean. Hopefully. I don't want to weasel out of it. I'm just saying. We're all human. After all. Mm -hmm. ah, painting upside down. Okay. Yeah. So, 20 minutes. Wow. Goodness gracious. Didn't take long at all. I think I'm ready. I'm not ready to hit the pinks yet. We still have a little toning up to do before we do that. So, I think we're just going to do the blues because honestly, I just kind of want to do some of these streams like this. It's cool. But we're still working our way into it. And, you know, I don't want to be on here all night, but just fiddle around with this for a bit. <clears throat> and I'll, you know, I'll probably be working on it as well off camera because, well, I'm still used to painting a different style where you paint like a sea otter instead of with it to like, like prop up and shut. So I'm going to work on this blue and then we'll see how we feel about it. Let me pause for the cause again real quick. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. All righty. Okay. One little spot left. And then, yeah, we're going to do pinks for those bars across. What am I doing grabbing that again? Get my water instead. They move the mic away to drink the water. Oh, but not to swallow it. I'm sure that was great listening to. My old geriatric ass trying to swallow water. Being old sucks. Not like I'm like super old, but yeah, I'm old. That sucks. Get joint pain, nerve problems. Uh, uh, nobody wants to hear that shit. Everybody just wants to find out on their own. That's what the compression sleeves for. It's to help my arm because I have a whole bunch of problems with it from work. Not knocking work, but. Uh, you know, it's a physical job. Comes with, comes with it. 
you do something long enough and, you know, you start to get worn down from it. Such is life. I'm not knocking the work. I like the people I work with. So. All righty. Here we go. All right. I'm just going to tighten this blue up a bit. Yeah, I will say this. As much as I like the new, the new Netflix series for She-Ra, the fucking theme song to the old She-Ra slaps. It really fucking does with that. Clap, clap. Oh, bitch. Yes. <laughs> Honey. That's the song. The new one's okay, too. It's kind of similar to, like, you know, Bonnie Tyler's I Need a Hero, which, I mean, who doesn't love that song? But I fucking love that. I fucking love that shit. That's the fucking jam. I mean, the classic He-Man song is pretty fucking sick, too. But, like, that fucking... Dun -dun 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 -dun. Yeah, I'm telling you. It's stuck in your head. Just be sitting there chilling in the middle of the night, not even knowing what's going on. All of a sudden, just... Dun -dun 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 and you're like, what? Middle of reading a book. You're just humming to yourself. Dun -dun 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 dun 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 It'll happen. Uh, or maybe not. Maybe I'm just crazy. All right. Yeah, I think that's good on the blues. All right. Yeah, that's not bad. It's not bad. Could have went a little more in there. Mm -mm, that's okay. We'll do that with secondaries. We're not going to do it exactly like the fucking background art. I do love that sunbeam, though. You know, I think I might do some Sunman characters, too. We'll leave that up to the polls. I tend to do polls to uh, determine what we're going to paint on these. So we'll figure that out. But you know what? Fuck it, bitch. Let's go ahead and pop in those, those fucking... Let's start on the base colors for those beams. And once again, we're going to be using our bright magenta for that. I am quite a fan of the magenta, especially the bright magenta. If it's not bright magenta, it might as well be fuchsia. You know? That's basically a dark magenta is fuchsia. So, all righty. See, it's stuck in your head. <sighs> Damn it. Okay. I'll tell you another one that had a really good theme song was fucking Gem. I love me some Gem. I never really got into the show as much because, again, my old man would have fucking just, I'm not going to get into that. But I have caught it as I've gotten older. I've actually caught a lot of the shows that I wasn't allowed to watch when I was a kid as I've gotten older. I've caught in some of the gem. I like gem. I love the fact that it's technically in the, the G.I. Joe universe or the Sunbow G.I. Joe universe. They're in the same reality. Same thing with Transformers. There's an episode where um, Zartan and his Dreadnoughts um, create a, a fake rock band called Cold Slither. And in one of the episodes of Gem, she's at a Battle of the Bands thing, and one of the competitors at the Battle of the Bands is Cold Slither. So literally, it's in the same universe. I mean, honestly, the synergy technology is almost the same as the fucking stuff that Sartan uses anyway. And it's kind of cool that they did that with Transformers, too. So technically, Gem, Transformers, and G.I. Joe are all in the same 
universe and it's kind of cool kind of sucks that they would do well, actually no it doesn't kind of suck because the gi joe they all kind of had shitty movies didn't they the gem movie apparently was so bad nobody even wanted to recognize it as a gem movie i don't know how to feel about that i haven't seen it and the closest thing i've seen to a actualization of a gem film is uh vicious lips it's pretty fucking close <laughs> It's not exact. I mean, also, I can't believe they got away with calling the lead singer in that movie Judy Jetson. But yeah, that's probably the closest I could think of to a gem movie is Vicious Lips. Just for the band aspect of it, the you know, not anything else really. Well, sort of the tech maybe, because the way they do their makeup is just like kind of like spray paint the shit on real fast with a machine or some shit. I, you know what I'm saying. Because I don't know what I'm saying. So if at least one of us knows what I'm saying, it makes sense, right? Okay. <sighs> yeah, I think we're just going to lay down the basics of these bright magenta beams. And then we'll come back in later and touch it up and all that jazz. But I think that'll be the stopping point for this. It's been good so far. We're like 31 minutes in. Let's do another quick pause for the calls for like a bit more thing. All right, back to it. I can't see shit there, man. Shira. Sorry. It's it's the cartoons like on in the background, so it's in my head. Yeah. So there we go. <clears throat> I would definitely say if you, if you know, definitely check out the new shows. They're pretty good. The Netflix one is pretty fun. Uh, again, first season kind of like eh, hit or miss. Kind of wondering what's going on, but uh, you know, let them cook. It's not bad. Love that show. It's fun. The CGI gets more entertaining in the second season where, where they really seem to get a hang of it. Kind of reminds me of like the 2012 Ninja Turtle series where like the first season, most people were like, oh, the CGI is so crap. I mean, it was the, you know what I'm saying? Like you go on the forum boards, the 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 the, the anime enthusiast forum boards, and it's like, uh, the 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 artwork is so trash. And but then you you go you look past that and you're like, you know what? These are actually pretty fucking good interpretations of the characters. <laughs> They had a lot of deep cuts in that 2012 series. It's like my favorite turtle series. I fucking love that shit. So good. So good. Just just pure, pure turtle power. I fucking love it. Can't wait for that cartoon or for the new movie to come out too. That looks so fucking dope. But like, it kind of reminds me of that 2012 vibe where it's it's got, it takes a minute for you to grow on you for the, for the change in style. But they do a lot of deep cuts and they do them in fun ways and then they take characters that were kind of like nobody really thought of this character and do their own thing with it like i kind of like what they did with ram ma'am <clears throat> that was kind of cool and they gave her kind of the kind of the goddess story arc instead of tila in fact she seems more like more more like a contemporary to tila than tila does comparatively for like the original series where you know Tila and He-Man were best friends it seems like her and He-Man are best friends in the new show which is kind of cool that they did that I love what they did with um Stratos it's a fucking great upgrade for him because Stratos is just kind of a weird character man I like the way they did him uh, some of them are kind of weird though like web store was weird uh, King Hiss was kind of weird. He was kind of like a big bad monster that didn't do shit, really, you know? 
but you know, I haven't really caught up on the new season. I think it's uh, Hordak now is the, they introduced. I can't remember. I, I I honestly canceled Netflix before that season came out, so I don't know. That was neat to see some of the stuff they did differently. So I hope that it does good. Hold on here and pause real quick. Okay, let's finish these stripes up and then we'll figure out what we're going to do from there. Because I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to add in some ter uh, tertiary beams that are not connected to anything. And uh, we're going to darken around the midsection a bit and then horizon it out. It's going to take a little work and we're going to do a lot of that off camera because, again, it's just a comfort issue. I do want to do these these little streams, but... I am going to work on stuff off camera, too, because it is difficult for me to work in this condition. <laughs> I'll get used to it, but these first initial couple of streams are going to be like that, where I'm, you see a small little bit of progress and then a huge bit of progress. And don't worry, I'm still doing everything myself. It's not like I hire somebody to do all the stuff in the background, like, you know, Bob Kane or something. I'm sure comic book people will get that. But yeah. So there we go. Alrighty. I think. That should do it for tonight. Yes, that will do for tonight. Now you might have noticed that I've already got parts penciled out. That's because we're gonna go back in and touch those up. That's one of those things that I like to do and it's actually a good bit of advice if you've got a material you can do it on is uh, once you lay down your layers, pencil the areas next where you know you're gonna need to put shade so that you can go in a lot easier and remember it because believe it or not it's actually quite annoying to like paint something and then be like okay well where do i need to go here so if you lay it out in pencil first you can figure it out from there uh, uh yeah it's not bad it's looking pretty good and i think that'll do it uh it was fun doing this little video and um well i don't know when i'm going to be doing these again i'm just kind of like doing the Matt whim at the moment, but uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys later. And I hope you have a good one.